One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his followers said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus said, When you pray, say, Our Father, Good morning, class. Good morning, morning ma'am. Ma How are you this morning? We're, We're fine, fine, thank you, and you. That is good to hear. I am Teacher Hazel, and I will be your teacher for this morning. Is anyone absent today, class? Miss Secretary, who is absent? None, ma'am. That is good to hear. So this morning, class, I received a letter from Lina Medina, the youngest mother in the history at the age of five years old. And she told me that she has something to ask from you. Are you now ready to read her letter, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, beautiful and handsome students of Teacher Hazel. I heard from her that you are all kind and I'm sure that you will also be kind during the discussion of the lesson. I have attached my classroom rules for all of you. These are the class rules. Listen when others are talking. Follow direction. Keep hands Feet and objects to yourself. Work quietly and do not disturb others. Show respect for school and personal property. Work and play in a safe manner. You are seated accordingly based on the color of your headdress. The first group will be the team sperm cell, the second group will be the team egg cell, the third group will be the team fertilized egg, and the fourth group will be the team sterilized egg. As what you have observed, I have pasted here a scoreboard and you will be given baby milk for each point that you obtain. And to monitor your behavior and participation throughout the session, I have prepared here a behavioral chart. You will be given baby food if you behave well and if not, you will be given baby poop which means a deduction of your points. Am I clear class? Yes ma'am! Last meeting, we discussed about adjectives. And to assess if you really understood this discussion that we had, we will have an activity titled Cabbage Relay. 
all you have to do is to pass the cabbage from one student to another and the goal signal is the music once the music stops the student will peel off the cabbage and then read the question and then he or she will answer the question being asked am i understood class yes ma'am okay let's start let the music begin Are you down to be my stop what are adjectives an adjective is a part of speech that describes a modifies a noun or pronoun. Another. Let the music begin. Why are adjectives important? Adjectives are important because it makes the sentence more meaningful. It adds color and accuracy in the whole sentence. That is right. Another. Let the music begin. Stop. What are the two kinds of adjectives? Attributives and predicatives adjectives, ma'am. Another. Let the music begin. Stop. An example of sentence with an attributive adjective. Rule human respect not just white but also people of color. Correct. Another. Let's go turn it An example of sentence with predicative adjectives. Stay rational judge not in the color of the skin, but in the content of one's character. That is correct. All of your answers class are correct. It seems to me that you really understood the topic that we have discussed last meeting. For today's lesson, you are expected to demonstrate understanding on the causes and consequences of teenage pregnancy, analyze the message of the video, Baby with a Baby and its relevance to real life, explain the types of models and understand its logical probability meanings, and present a jingle, GAF, advertisement, and a poster slogan on the causes and consequences of teenage pregnancy. We will have another lesson, but before that, let us first have an activity. All you have to do is to watch the video titled Baby with a Baby, and I want you to connect deeply on the meaning of the video. Am I clear, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, let's start. Yeah, but I mean, just to s continue on with the conversation, mm -hmm. what what do you think is you know is is the cause of of all of this, inc the increment in these numbers? There is so much around teenage pregnancies as we're talking now. Mm. There is absent parents. Okay. There is peer pressure. Yeah. There is poverty, which leads to sex for parts. Mm. There is unmonitored social media. All right. Yeah, cause. So we are so busy, parents are so busy that they can't even have time for their kids. Mm. They leave the houses at 5.30 or the kids themselves are picked in the morning at 5.30. The, the, parent, yeah, the yes. parents are still sleeping. Mm. The parents come back at 10 p.m. Mm. So yeah. the, house, the house girl has helped the kids do their homework. Everything, their homeworks, yeah. they have fed them, they have gone to sleep. So the cycle continues. And so if the cycle continues, the parents are absent. That yeah. is These true. kids are equipped with phones, mm. social media, yeah. they are into social media. Yes. Nobody knows what they are doing in those social that media. Some are into pornographic sites, mm. some are the peer pressure. You know, you watch and then you go share with your friends yes. and they're exposed. So yeah. Yeah, there's so much around it. Poverty, they are, the sex for parts, when I'm saying, there's this case which came around last year, September. Mm -hmm. The case from a typical informal settlement in yes. this country, you, the parent can afford to pay for the rent, food, and then there is the sanitary part question, mm. which Nobody wants to talk about it. So as a kid, you feel you held back. You don't need to share. Mm -hmm. My periods are here and I need the sanitary towel. So the kid is exposed. Some to an extent, they just tell the kids, your periods have come. I'll provide food in this house. I'll provide school fees. Now go find your way out. I will sort yourself on wow. the sanitary part. So they have to figure it out yeah. from that. So they expose them. Other schools come up with them. Um, 
sanitary towers, mm -hmm. but once the sanitary towers dry off, they're exposed because the guiding and counseling teachers, mm -hmm. some of them help them. But mm -hmm. also remember, she or he is from the same informal settlement. Yes. So at one point, he'll also be low on financial part. So okay. they're exposed to sex for parts. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm getting, and even when we're listen, watching our mom thoughts, it, th there seems to be an element of luck yeah. in a certain area. Yes. So either financially or, you know, it could also be emotionally, emotionally or just you know, just within yourself as an individual. But mm -hmm. like the, the uh, beautiful girl who was sharing there said, there's a promise that the, for her that the, the man who impregnated her had given her the promise of he'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. and, and so for these girls you're sharing as well, this, they have to exchange their bodies in order for them to, to be able to purchase sanitary That towels. comes in two views. You see, if a parent is absent, this kid looks for parental care. He wants somebody to, uh, to take care of her. So okay. she wants to feel the fatherly love and yes. the husbandly love. So there are two points from that video. Either she was looking for the parental love mm -hmm. or she was looking for financials to provide for herself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Most teenage girls don't plan to get pregnant, but many of them get pregnant eventually. Teen pregnancies carry extra health risks to both the mother and the baby. They have a higher risk of pregnancy-related high blood pressure and its complications. Risks for the baby include premature birth and low birth weight. <laughs> Many pregnant teens drop out of school and some never complete their education. A couple with little education and multiple children to care for will find it very difficult to earn a living especially for those who are not supported by their parents and friends. Other effects of induced illegal abortion of pregnancy can result in long-term psychological effects on teens, which include depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, guilt feelings, sleep problems, and anxiety disorders. In order to prevent teenage pregnancy, always use contraception when having sexual intercourse. For more advice, you can always talk to your parents, school counsellors, or teachers. Okay class, now that you have watched the video, what is the video all about? The video is all about the causes and consequences of teenage pregnancy. It presented about how hard it is to experience teenage pregnancy along with its painful effect. The video is actually an encouragement not to engage into premarital, premarital sex and avoid action that could lead to tremendous consequences. That is right. Now, what do you think are the rules and responsibilities of the parents before the pregnancy happened in the case? Parents are the number one most influential figure for most children. They should be an approachable parent and establish rules, curfews, and a standard of expected behavior, mom. That is right. Now, how does teenage pregnancy affect someone's life? The teenage girl will experience emotional crisis, ma'am. They may feel scared, anxious, confused, frustrated, nervous, and even resentful. Pregnancy will have negative effect in the academic performance and eventually drop out because of shame. That is right. It has various tremendous negative effects. Now what else? Becoming pregnant in your teens may lead to depression. Discussing comments and cold tears can make someone anxious and chances are it will lead to depression. Also, most teens do not seek proper medical cares during pregnancy, either due to shame or lack of support from parents. Uncertainly about the future is a common feeling during the teenage pregnancy. As what you have observed, I have presented some words on the last part of the video. Now, in your own idea, what do you think, what component in grammar do these words belong? 
These words, ma'am, belong to the models or models auxiliary. That is correct. This afternoon class, I will present to you another topic which is anchored to the types and logical probability of models. Are you now excited to know more about models, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's begin. The types of models and its logical probability meaning. The first one is can, the ability to do something in the present. For example, I can do everything for my baby through Christ who strengthens me. Another is the permission to do something in the present. For example, can I go to the comfort room? Another one is can could be a request. For example, can you stay with me please? It could be also an offer. For example, I can lend you my calculator till Sunday. Can could also be a suggestion. For example, can we call ma'am now? It could also be a possibility. For example, sometimes I can be wild. I can always run home. Another type of model is could. It is used to represent a suggestion, request, permission, future possibility, and ability in the past. For example, nothing I could ever do will make it turn away. Another type of models is may. It could be a possibility. For example, it may rain today. Also, it could be a permission to do something in the present. For example, may I borrow your face shield? Another is, it could be a polite suggestion. For example, may I help you? Another type of model is might. It is used to show present and future possibility. For example, Miss Anima might be sleeping now. Let's not disturb her. Another type of model is must. It could be a force or necessity. For example, I must finish my studies so that I can afflict my family from poverty. It could also be a possibility. For example, you must be tired further after harvesting all the crops. Another type of model is should. It could be an advice. For example, you should not reach the point of giving up despite of the challenges brought by this pandemic. It could also be an obligation. For example, you should wear a face mask whenever you get out. To check if you really understood our lesson today, let us first have an activity. All you have to do is to choose a number flashed on the screen. The choose a number will be clicked and the picture who will be shown will be the one to answer the question given. Am I clear class? Yes ma'am. Now choose a number. The number you have chosen is number 2. Mark Lloyd Hilarion. Crisa Blank not engaged into premarital sex to avoid pregnancy at a very young age. The correct model is should. That is right. The correct model to use is should. Now, choose another number. The number you have chosen is number 22. Ronald Bryan Husto. You, Blanc, take good care of your baby girl. The correct model is must. That is correct. The correct model to use is must. Another. Choose a number. The number you have chosen is number 16. C.G. Bryan Balenton. My baby be sleeping now. Let's not disturb her. The correct model is my. Correct. The correct model to use is my. Another. Choose a number. The number you have chosen is number 12. Bing Bong Biscaya. I blank live without the father of my offspring. The correct model is Khan. That is right. The right model to use is Khan. Another. Choose a number. Number 13. Makra Lovido. 
teenagers blank be aware of the emerging issues of teenage pregnancy in our locality the correct model is must that is right the correct model to use is must this time class let us have another activity we will merge the group one with group two and then we will merge the group three with group four this activity is called ikaw na humusgaw with a twist each group will be given straps of paper and all you have to do is to fix the paper and read the code written on it am i clear class yes ma'am okay let's begin Okay, class, let us now read the quote. First quote. Teen pregnancy in the 90s, damn, my life is over. Teen pregnancy today, I'm to her a cam. Second quote. Being a good mother has nothing to do with age, but more the size of your heart. If you can love enough to know that you will do everything to protect and care for your children, little else matters. Now that we have read the code, class, what did you feel after fixing and reading the code? After we were able to read the code, we felt sad to those who experience such things. We realize how significant it is to be fully aware of the various negative effects teenage pregnancy can lead us. It also made us happy because we can be able to learn from these experiences. That is right, class. Now, what do you think is the difference between the lives of the teenagers before and the lives of the teenagers now in the 21st century? Teenagers before were very much conservative. They valued themselves like a gem or a precious diamond. They are more conscious with the way they dress, the way they do courting, and the way they present themselves to others. That is correct. Now class, as a student, how can you advocate prevention of teenage pregnancy? As a student, I can advocate by sharing what I have learned about the emerging issues to my family, friends, and classmates. Through this, I can be able to warn them not to engage with such harmful activities that could lead to a tremendous effects. Aside from that, I will attend various seminars and symposiums regarding teenage pregnancy to increase my knowledge. Yes, class, you all have an amazing idea. And I hope that everything that we have learned in this lesson will be put into action. We should always remember that teenage pregnancy will have various negative effects on us physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and all other aspects of life. That is why we should be conscious enough with all our life decisions and we should always focus on our dreams and goals. And we should always think before we do something. Can I expect that from you, class? Yes, ma'am. That is good to hear. This time, class, you are going to work with your group again. I will give you an envelope which contains the task that you are going to have. I will give you five minutes to prepare and two minutes to present your output. Is that clear, class? Yes, ma'am. In your presentation, class, please be guided with the following. For the content, 50%. For the models used, 20%. For the creativity, 20%. And the mastery, 10%. The total of 100%. For the team sperm cell, this is what you're going to do. For 5 minutes, create and present a jingle on the different causes of teenage pregnancy. Make this as creative as you are in incorporating sound and dance steps. God bless! What an amazing performance, Group 1! Let us give them a Sana All Club! One, two, three, sana. One, two, three, all. One, two, three, sana, all. Okay, so the first group presented about the causes of teenage pregnancy. It was clearly shown that being pregnant at an early age is never an easy task. And it was clearly emphasized that some of the causes of teenage pregnancy are curiosity, 
poor family orientation, addiction of alcoholic beverages, and many more. For the Team Excel, this is your task. For 5 minutes, create and present a GIF on the consequences of teenage pregnancy presented in the video. Your group are given 5 minutes for this task. While presenting, someone from your group will say something on the GIF. After your performance, one from your group will share and discuss the group overall learning written in Cartolina. Be creative! That was an amazing performance, Group 2. Let us give them a Pyrex clap. Okay, the second group presented the consequences of teenage pregnancy in a form of GIF. It was clearly shown that any woman can be a victim of teenage pregnancy. And it was clearly shown that teenage pregnancy can ruin someone's life. And it can sometimes lead to the death of the mother. For the Team Fertilized Egg, your task is to create and present an advertisement as a campaign for your advocacy in preventing teenage pregnancy. Your presentation should be in a form of short role play and song. You shall manage to finish the task for 5 minutes. After your performance, one from your group will share and discuss the group overall learning written in Cartolina. Creativity is a bonus point. That was a creative performance, Group 3. Let us give them a resounding applause. Okay, so the third group, or the Group 3, presented their advertisement for their campaign and their advocacy on the teenage pregnancy. Through their presentation, we can understand that anyone can help in reducing the cases of teenage pregnancy by helping one another in sharing what we have learned about the issue. And we also understand it was shown that birth control is a way to avoid being pregnant but it is very clever or it is more clever not to engage into premarital sex for the team sterilized egg your task is to create a poster slogan out from your overall learning of the video the poster slogan should be as creative as you are one representative from your group will explain the art after your performance one from your group will share and discuss the group overall learning written in cartolina creativity is a must what a great performance, Group 4! Let us give them a pack bet club! One, two, three, pack na pack! One, two, three, bet na bet! One, two, three, pack bet! Okay, thank you so much! The fourth group presented a poster slogan about their overall learning about teenage pregnancy. It was stated that teenage pregnancy will have various negative effects on us physically and mentally. It can lead us, it can lead the person being anxious, being scared, confused, frustrated, nervous, and other negative effects. That is why we should learn to say no because it has various negative effects on us and it can sometimes lead to death as per mentioned earlier. Class, I am blissful that all of you used models in presenting your topic in all of your performances. And I am also glad that you presented your outputs in a very creative way. Let us give ourselves a big, big round of applause. This time class, we will have another activity and you will be grouped into three with different tasks. However, you will answer individually and you shall manage to finish the task within five minutes. Am I making myself clear, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For the group one class, you will be making exit cards. For the group two, you will make a storyboard. And for the group three, you'll be making a photo essay. Let us all be guided of the following rubrics. For 30 points, the presentation should be creative, organization and delivery are impressive and free from errors. It will be 25 points if the presentation is creative, organization and delivery are impressive and has minimal errors. For 20 points, the presentation is less creative, organization and delivery are quite impressive, errors are observable. 
for 15 points, presentation and delivery need refinement. Time is up! Submit now your outputs! Now class, models are used to effectively express our thoughts or our intended message to the receiver. And we use models should, will, can, would, must to suggest or to say something about what we want to say. Now, given this thought, why do you think it is important to use models in communication? It is important to use models, ma'am, to give clarity and emphasis in the statement. It is significant because models clearly emphasizes a given thought. Okay, that is correct. Now, how can you say that the intention of the message of the speaker connotes force or necessity? If the speaker uses the models, must his or her sentence. It connotes force or or necessity for example we must see the doctor now i our patient is dying that is correct this time class to assess if you really understood our lesson today we will answer the questions being distributed to you all you have to do is to encircle the letter of the correct answer and you shall manage to finish the task within five minutes are my instruction clear class yes ma'am okay let's begin To further check your learning for your assignment, create a photo essay on the preservation of culture using the types and probability of models. And this assignment will be passed next meeting. Am I understood, class? Yes, ma'am. Now, since everything's clear to you, that's all for today's session. God bless everyone and have a great time with your family. Goodbye, class. Goodbye and thank you, Mom Hazel.